You'll probably all know that the pH scale is basically a simple numerical scale that tells us how acidic or how basic a substance is. You've maybe even stared lovingly at your chemistry room's walls long enough to know where some things sit on the pH scale. For example, hydrochloric acid is usually at about 1. Knowing what you now know about acids and bases and protons, this should make some sense. After all, HCl is a strong acid, and strong acids produce a high concentration of hydronium ions. Lots of H3O plus ions means the solution is very acidic, and a solution that's very acidic will have a low pH. So it all seems to work out pretty nicely. But we still haven't answered the original question. What is pH actually telling us? It turns out to be a nice mathematical relationship. pH equals the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus ions. In other words, if we know the concentration of hydronium ions that an acid has produced, we can just chuck it into this equation and we'll end up with a nice number for the pH scale. The negative log part of this means that the higher the concentration of the H3O plus ions, the lower the pH will be. You should also be aware that we can just as easily use this other formula here to find pH. These two formulas are really the same thing. Let's look at how we can use this equation to calculate the pH of a strong acid, like sulfuric acid, H2SO4. What is the pH of a 0.1 mole per litre solution of sulfuric acid? We don't need to worry about any equations or how much water we began with in the solution. Since sulfuric acid is a strong acid and therefore fully dissociates, and there is a 1 to 1 mole ratio between sulfuric acid and the H3O plus produced, we can simply let our calculations do the work on this occasion pH equals the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus ions equals the negative log of 0.1 moles per litre equals 1. And that sounds about right, doesn't it? Weak acids do not fully dissolve in water, and so if we only start out with the concentration, we can't be sure what the concentration of H3O plus ions will end up being. Can we use the same idea to find the pH of a base then? Well the short answer is, sort of. We can sort of use the same method, but it requires a few extra steps. That's because, as you know, a base reacts with water to form hydroxide ions, OH-, and not hydronium ions. For example, sodium hydroxide is a strong base. We've not bothered including water in this reaction because we can easily show how hydroxide ions get formed without it. So in order to get around the issue of finding the pH of a strong base, like NaOH, we need to use the idea of the ionic constant of water, which we normally just write as K sub W. If you're interested in how this works, there's a bunch of information about it on the internet. If not, then here's the guts of what you need to know. At its heart, K sub W is simply a number. It's a number with a strange value, which is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14, which is a very small number indeed. But K sub W is also a bit more than this odd minuscule value. It's a special relationship between the concentration of hydroxide ions and hydronium ions in any given solution. K sub W equals the concentration of H3O plus ions multiplied by the concentration of OH- ions. Which means that if we know the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution, which is normally just given to us in the question, we can easily use the value of K sub W, which is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14, to find the H3O plus concentration. From there, finding pH just involves using that strange negative log equation. For example, Find the pH of a solution of 0.2 moles per litre of sodium hydroxide. Well, we begin by using the K sub W equation to find the concentration of hydronium ions of this sodium hydroxide. That's easy. 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14 equals the concentration of H3O plus ions 
times the concentration of OH minus ions equals H3O plus concentration times 0.2 moles per litre. And a little bit of rearranging leads us up to the grand reveal that the concentration of H3O plus ions equals 5 times 10 to the power of negative 14, which we got with a small amount of algebra. Now that we've got the concentration of hydronium ions, it's more or less simple to find the pH. The pH equals the negative log of the concentration of the H3O plus ions equals 13.3. And once again, this makes some rough sense. A strong base like sodium hydroxide will always have a reasonably high pH. If you can recall that the higher end of the pH scale is 14, then a figure of 13.3 sounds about right.